guys so um this is going to be my intro for my dr facilier makeup look i totally forgot to do one last night i was being rushed because i have a sick baby so he was coughing and i was trying to take care of him so i didn't get a chance to do the intro but here i am bright and early in the morning i want to say it's like eight now in the morning the video should be going up at three um so if you want to stay tuned obviously i am not wearing the makeup look that i wore that i created for that video i am using the jellies the green jellies so i'm super excited because i feel dr facility especially since it's the princess and the frog it needs a lot of green so i did go ahead and use a whole mess of greens so if you, so if you are interested in seeing what look i came up with just stay tuned bye Alrighty, so I have pinned back my hair so that it is not in my face. And we are gonna get started. I cannot wait. I'm super excited to use Dr. Facilier. I love, love the color of the jelly for the eyes. It's this intense green color. And obviously, since this is the Princess and the Frog, we are going to stick with our greens. Um, so I will be using this as well as his main color facilier here in the palette i am so excited i cannot wait so i am going to use the nor problem primer from touch and soul i really like this primer it doesn't feel sticky when you're done putting it on so i really really like that i'm not a huge fan of like primers that leave your skin way too sticky so I genuinely enjoy this one. And I'm sorry, like it makes your pores just feel so nice. Like they look so nice. Like I can't even explain it. Like you literally have no pores after this primer. It's really, really nice. And then a little bit down. Ooh. And today I decided that we were gonna do like a full blown makeup look and I was gonna use foundation, you know. Not a real fan of foundation, but every so often, you know, your girl does it. <laughs> so, as usual, since I don't really buy full-size products as far as foundation goes, unless it's my drugstore foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ulta HD foundation. I don't know, I was thinking of making the purchase and buying the big bottle since I'm using it so much nowadays. Just, you know, obviously for the videos, even though I have been trying to avoid using it as much as possible. But I was thinking about just going out there and buying a full-size product. I'm going to go in with my Pure Beauty Blender. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this in an Ipsy bag and I... I Ipsy or BoxyCharm? I'm sorry, I think it was a BoxyCharm. And I've been trying it ever since. Um, I think it came in like a little three pack. It was the pink, a green one, and maybe a red one. I might be lying about the final color, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. And it's been really, really good. Like, I really enjoy it. It's nice. It absorbs water very, very nice. And I mean, it does the same thing as every other beauty blender. Like, it blends. <laughs> So I can't really, you know, hide that much about that. It does do a very nice job. Again, I am not a huge fan of foundations just because for me, it's very difficult to find a foundation that doesn't sit right here. Just there. Like it, For some reason, all of my foundations, no matter what foundation I try, no matter what foundation, it could be a Le Mer, it could be a drugstore, it doesn't really matter. Foundations on me just sit there and I despise it. I, I hate it. I It drives me bonkers. Like Obviously from far away, you can't see it. But if you look close in a mirror, you will always see all the little like, I don't know. To me, it feels like it's caking up there all the time and it's just very annoying <laughs> so i'm gonna bring that down onto my neck a little bit on my ears because i am a little more tanner i know it's a shock um then this foundation i'm gonna have to warm it up with some bronzer because surprisingly for the first time in 
a very long time, I'm pan. I was in Tortuga during the weekend. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a country music festival that comes down to Fort Lauderdale Beach every year. I think this is the seventh year that they've done it. And out of the seven years, I've gone six. I only missed the first one because I had no knowledge of it. <laughs> so I, me and my husband go every single year. We do not miss it. It's impossible. Like, the, the year before last, so 2017, I was postpartum one month after a c-section and i was there rocking it out to luke bryan because well you kind of have to i mean it's luke bryan it doesn't matter how you're feeling you rock it out <laughs> i'm gonna go with my kat von d shade and light palette with these two shades i never know what these two shades are called i always use them it is uh, shadow play and subconscious um i want to say i'm just gonna go back and forth into those two shades and bronze everything out just a little bit i'm not gonna, really gonna contour i am just going to bronze it up so that it matches with like the rest of me even though the rest of me is a little bit red because i'm very white so i don't really tan i pretty much get like a lobster and then well that's my color i don't tan <laughs> just get rid <laughs> i've tried figuring it out and i feel like i have the perfect concoction of like sunblock and sun tanning lotion where i somewhat tan or at least i like to tell myself that i somewhat tan and i use i'll use like an fpf 100 because obviously i am so fair and i don't want to you know, completely destroy my skin and then i'll do one full layer of fpf 100 and then i will do sun tanning lotion on top with like that instant bronze sun tanning lotion and i feel like that's like the perfect concoction for my skin for it to be like oh oh look sun let me try to absorb it i don't know maybe that's just in my head but for me it works <laughs> um i am gonna set the rest of my face with these two powders up here these are lyric and levitation and i'm just gonna i need a new pal buy a new palette of the cat bondi i'm waiting for the for the um, sephora vib sale see if i can like Cause you know, when it goes on sale, I go ham. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the center, kind of go right in that center up a little bit, and down in the chin, down at the bottom. That is how we are bronzing today. <laughs> And I know that you are not supposed to put um, liquids on top of, liquids on top of what? I can't talk today. Like I'm having one of those days where words just don't flow through me as normal. Not that words normally flow through me, but it's all right. <laughs> so I know that you are not supposed to put um, liquid on top of powder, but I do it anyways and for me, it does not crease. It does not cause any types of problems. I actually prefer it that way because I like to have my concealer be brighter than the powders. I don't know if that makes any sense. That's why I use the Pixie. Well, I use a whole lot of concealers, but my favorite one is the Pixie. And this is the color Cream. It's very, very, very white, as you can see. But I love it. Like it, this is what I like to do. For me, it works. I'm a big believer in you do what makes you happy. And there's, people think it's wrong. Some people think it's right. It doesn't really matter. As long as you like the results, you should always be able to do what you want, no matter what. Like, I'm a big firm believer in that. If it works for you, it doesn't necessarily have to work for everybody else as long as it works for you. And this works for me. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I am going to bring this out a little bit. And just like that, whatever is remaining, I will bring it upwards, down my nose and on my chin. And just like that. 
Alrighty, now let's get into the eyes because I'm really, really excited about doing my eyes today. Now, I am gonna go in with, what am I gonna go in with? I am gonna go in with a Luxie Taper Blending Brush. We are gonna go into the Misunderstood. As usual, we are gonna go into the only two real colors that you can put on your crease. So I'm gonna go into Tragic. I'm just gonna concentrate that on the outer corner and blend that upwards. It's the lightest shade in this palette. It's gonna go help everything be pretty and perfect. Mm -hmm. Blend this one higher. And remember, blend, blend, blend. You want to make sure, especially this bottom color, is very nice and blended. Oh, I love this color. I feel like it's so pretty. Now, with a smaller brush, I am going to do a little bit of devious which is the shade right next to it which is the color that i use most of the time and i feel like i am going to put it shh sorry my dogs are next to me today and they are just having a field day they're playing and growling and just going all over each other <laughs> um i am gonna go in with i have all the like sticking brushes i think i'm gonna go with a, no, i'm gonna go with this one So this is the Luxie Mini Taper. So it's just a little bit smaller than the other one. And I am just gonna put that right on the outside just so that it could help me blend out the green that I am gonna go over it with. So this color is gonna show just a little bit on the top, but I want that green to be what pops out the most, especially the shimmer. I'm so excited. Again, this is just a little bit and I'm going in windshield wiper motions all on the crease. I'm not bringing it up too high, just a little bit. And I'm not bringing, I don't really care about the lid just because I am going to cover up the whole lid up. Probably cover the whole lid with the jelly and then I'll go over it with the shimmer down here. So, the fun stuff. I am going to go into the jelly. Oh my God, I love everything about this color. Look at this. I'm just gonna one good, look at that. <gasps> I can't. I kind of deal with the perfection. So I am going to go in with a Sigma concealer brush and I am going to go right into this lid. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God, I just died and went to heaven. How absolutely perfect is this color? Wow. It is stunning. It's so reflective. It's 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 absolutely amazing, honestly. Honestly, if you were looking to get this collection, I would, I mean, this palette is absolutely kick-ass. I love everything about it, but I would honestly just get all of like the jellies. They are so incredible. It's like that eyeshadow that you know you have to wet, but you don't have to wet it because it's already wet. Oh 
my goodness. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna stop saying oh my goodness and concentrate on this makeup look. I am just gonna put this all over the eyes, all over the lid. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. This is color on its own is so stunning. Look at that. The color is stunning. I can't deal with it. And I think that with it wet, I am going to go in with the Dr. Facilier on. Cause it's just a much darker intense green so i am gonna go in with uh, an angled brush this one is the mini angled and i am gonna just go in and just dig that brush in there and i am gonna deepen all of the end oh yes <laughs> Oh, it is just adding that depth. Oh, yes. And I am going to just blend it up a little bit into that um, devious color. Oh, beautiful. We'll go to the other side. Again, I am applying this and the jelly is still wet. Because this, I feel like this is one of those colors that you, you want to wet it just so that it adds that extra umph. But since the jelly is already wet, you don't need to. Oh my god, these two colors are everything right now. Oh my god. Hi, I'm poison. Poison ivy. All I'm missing is the leaves all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna get that because I'm Dr. Facilier today. But come on, like poison ivy vibes. Oh, I love poison ivy. She's like, I feel like I love all demons in every movie. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into Devious with that mini tapered brush just to kind of blend that green just a little bit. Woo! This is stunning. I feel like every color in this palette is just so amazing and you can do so many looks with it. It's just perfect. And there was like very minimal fallout. Like, there was just a couple of little sparkles here and there, but. At the end of the day, who cares? Be sparkly. <laughs> um, wow. I love, 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 love this. I am going to go move on to my eyebrows. I am going to use the Anastasia Dip Pomade in Soft Brown, as well as the Anastasia Number 12, which has the skinny brush on one end and the spoolie on the other. I cannot wait for that VIB sale. Like, I have so many things that I have to repurchase. It's, it's not even funny. So, I am going to concentrate this color only on the tip of my eyebrow and bring it upwards, as you can see. I don't like to add too, too much to my eyebrows because my eyebrows are already on the thicker end. So, I don't want them to look, you know, too crazy or anything like that. And then with the spoolie, when I blend it out, that is what I bring to the front. Again, same thing to the other side, only concentrating on the tail of my eyebrow. And then whatever remains, bringing it upwards. And then again, remember the spoolie does a lot 
for the product itself. So if you ever just add too much product to your eyebrow, just bring the spoolie and blend it out. Make sure you spread that throughout your tail and throughout your lash, your lash, you know what I mean? Throughout your eyebrow and that will do the job for you. I absolutely love the Anastasia spoolie. I think it's one of the best spoolies ever. A little bit more down here. Perfect. Ooh, I love this. I can't get over this eye look. I love it. Where is my lip? I feel like I lose things left and right. Like, I literally have like the desk in front of me where I put like the makeup stuff, and I'm like, I literally put it right in front of me. But then, of course, then the desk is black and the lid is black, so it kind of blends in. <laughs> so, now that I have that, I am going to go in with the highlight. Because I feel like we need a little highlight up in here to, you know, get things moving. I am going to go in with... This is a Luxie Detail Taper Brush, and it's nice and pointy, and I am going to use this for my inner corners. So I'm just gonna dip the powder in there. Remember, this is more of like their super shock shadows. So you kind of have to like go in to go in. <laughs> and I like that it has like a nice little gold. Oh, so cute. I wish that they would have done a mixture like of the highlights that I wish they wouldn't have been all um, the super shock. I love the Super Shock, but I love them in their eyeshadows, not just the highlights. I feel like for the highlight, you gotta, you just wanna like get on your highlight game and go. This, you kind of have to like play with it a little bit more just to like get it ready. And look at how pretty that is though. Oof. I absolutely love this collection. I think ColourPop did an amazing job with this. I do wish some of their highlighters were a little bit more like boom in your face, but it is what it is, you know. Can't ask for too much. Now I'm gonna go back in with that brush just to do under my eyebrows just a little bit. God, I love this look. Oh, I don't know if to put a liner. Like decisions, decisions. To line or not to line. <sighs> We're gonna line. So I am gonna use the Girlactic Beauty Precise um, Eyeliner Marker. And I'm not gonna talk through this because then I'm gonna have a squiggly line. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Definitely. To line was the right decision. <laughs> And then obviously we shall be doing some lashes just to intensify the look a little bit more. Alrighty, 
so for lashes as usual i am going to use the kiss adhesive and as far as lashes i'm going to use the baddington lashes i really really have been enjoying these lashes um usually i just put them off camera but why not let's see adventures today um so i am gonna go ahead just put them on gonna use some tweezers to help me out i'm a big fan so i tend to cut the lashes on the obviously on the end a little bit shorter because i don't like the lashes to come all the way to my inner corner so i cut them just a little bit extra short so that the beginning part of my eye has no lashes that helps accentuate the eye more of a cat eye kind of because the longer the lashes are towards the rear see this inner corner has no lashes just because i make sure i cut them just a little shorter obviously we're not talking about a huge difference but i never liked my lashes to come all the way to the end because that's i feel like that's always where the lashes starts to get off a lot more like if you want your lashes to last a little longer besides obviously using a really hot glue or really good glue you don't put them all the way to the end because that's where your eye is gonna start like your eye starts watering there so for example if if somebody says something sweet to you and you get all teary and you go oh that's when your lash will start coming off a lot faster I feel like I used to be so afraid of lashes back in the day and I want to say that it was because of that it was because of the fact that I would put them all the way towards the beginning and then obviously the eyelash would start to come off and I would feel very self-conscious that I would have like a piece of eyelash just kind of like hanging in there so I feel like that's the reason why I was so terrified of lashes for such a long time in my life but now like I've practiced again practice makes perfect just like liner your liner when you first start doing your liner your liner is gonna be like one up here one down here um just practice and little will you know eventually you'll be rocking perfect lashes just like a perfect wing <laughs> For the lipstick, I am very excited because I feel like this is one of like my favorite lipsticks in the whole collection. I mean, the red was stunning, but I feel like this one was just absolutely amazing. It's this beautiful kind of, I can't even like, describe the color. It's kind of just stunning. It's like the deep nude. So, with kind of like berry undertones. I don't know. I can't describe it. It is stunning. perfect oh my goodness <gasps> okay <laughs> so now for the lip topper this one is called the shadow man so i've got friends on the other side sorry again i just randomly break out into disney songs guys all right i'm gonna put this right smack in the middle look at that <gasps> Ooh. Just to add a little bit, oh my god. It has such a pretty goldenish color to it. It's stunning. Okay. Accentuating the middle of your lips will obviously make your lips look bigger and plumper. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so nice. Okay. 
I feel like I just died and went to heaven. This makes me happy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, if you like this look and my handful of like swatches. I feel like every makeup person does it. Like you'll have a video and you'll have like a thousand and one like just swatches all over your hand. <laughs> Remember guys, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite villain is. So, um, let me know if you've gotten this palette. I 150,000 million percent approve this palette it is stunning if you've never tried ColourPop or if you want to give it a go i would definitely recommend you don't have to get the full kit just get this or better get the jellies they're amazing <laughs> i hope you guys have a great rest of your day